Hey folks, in this short video I want to cover the basic differences between analog technology for telephones, digital technology, and voice over IP. All three are currently being used in the business and residential environment today, uh, but people get them mixed up and they start trying to troubleshoot problems by mixing the different devices and not only does it not work but it has a small potential to actually damage some of the equipment when you mix these things together. So let's go over the basics of, of the, the, the different three technologies real quick. So analog technology was the original telephone technology that was hammered out by uh, Alexander Graham Bell and Elisha Gray during the late part of the 19th century. The technology still exists today for most household uh, uses so if you have a uh, landline from the local telephone company then that most likely is going to be analog and you know this is like an analog telephone like you used to have in your kitchen and uh, it, you know, it mounts on the wall and it uses analog signals and it's just a two-wire connection okay so that's important to remember it's a two-wire connection by two-wire connection meaning it only uses the two pins on the jack so this upper jack is an RJ11 jack okay the only wires that are physically used to run that phone are just the two center pins. Now let's move on to digital. So digital is also a two-wire technology, but it's different than analog. Digital takes not only the sound, but a lot of the metadata, things like you know, the ability to handle multiple lines, the ability to show time, call information, caller ID, etc. Um, a lot of that information is all encoded on the same two wires that the conversation is. The digital and analog are not compatible. You can't mix the two together. You can get a converter to convert from one to the other, but you can't mix the two together. So my point here is that you can't troubleshoot a digital telephone problem by plugging an analog phone into it and vice versa. All right, then lastly, we've got voice over IP. Now, voice over IP is a completely different animal because it is a network technology. It's an IP-based technology. It uses a network cable. All right, so for instance, these two phones, the, the digital and the, the analog and the digital, they use the RJ11, the little skinny um, RJ11 plug. It's usually a four or six pin plug. Plugs into these little um, smaller jacks. Do you see how they've got the two jacks here? The top one is RJ11. The bottom one is, is what they call RJ45, or if you're a perfectionist, it's called 8P8C. And anyway, so the smaller plugs plug into RJ11, that's what runs analog and digital. And then voice over IP uses network. Okay, the same kind of cables you use to connect your laptop or your PC to the network, that's what voice over IP uses. All right, so mixing these two together isn't going to get you anywhere. Trying to take an analog phone and plug it into a network jack isn't going to get you anywhere. Now, there is the exception to the rule. You will sometimes see in some installations where they've used RJ45 jacks to uh, connect digital and analog phones. So that's not impossible that you may not run into that. However, voice over IP is completely different. It's a network-based technology. So how do I go about repairing, troubleshooting these, these issues? Well, first of all, so like I said, these two are, are two-wire technologies. It means it only uses those little gold teeth that are inside these, these, these RJ45 and RJ11 jacks. It only uses the center two. All right, so it's going to be pins four and five. So the middle two pins are all that the analog and digital phones will use. So when you're troubleshooting these, all you really need to do is make sure you've got that two-wire connection going from the instrument back to its source, whether that's going to be the, the, in the case of analog, it's usually going to be the, the point at which the phone company brings the service in. It's also known as a DMARC. With digital, it's going to be going back to the phone system or the key service unit um, or the PBX. Okay, so you just need to worry about those two wires. With voice over IP, it's a network connection. So that means you need to make sure you've got all eight of the network wires have good connectivity. So you could do that with a simple network tester. And also that it's connected to a switch and that that switch is enabled for network connectivity. One of the ways, now this is not a definitive way, but one of the ways you can troubleshoot a voice over IP phone is to plug a computer into the jack and see if you get a uh, network connection. All right, so um, so let's talk about about you know mixing and matching. Okay, you can't you can't plug an analog into digital, digital into analog, or analog into voiceover. But you can't mix these. So this is where I run into trouble is that people start having problems, say like with like a fax jack, 
so, which is an analog technology, and they'll take a digital phone and plug it in there to see if they can get dial tone. And of course, not only does it not work, um, but it has the small potential to damage the equipment. Um, now, they do make something known as an analog terminal adapter, which is, I'll show you one. I've got an analog terminal adapter here in the corner. That little guy right there is an analog terminal adapter. It's a little black box. It's got a network cable going into it. And then you see on the right-hand side, it's got a couple of these um, RJ11 jacks. So that takes voice over IP and converts it into analog. So you will run into that sometimes. If you're troubleshooting it, the real simple way to do it is plug an analog phone into the analog jacks to see if you hear dial tone. And then also verify that your network connection is good because the network is what drives the voice over IP that works inside that box. All right. So now you might also get a little confused and say, well, hey, I've got Vonage or I've got call cent call cent what is it called? Uh, Ring Central at my home, you know, or my business, but yet, you know, I still have these digital phones or analog phones. That's because they convert it. They use either the ATA to convert it. Um, you might have a digital telephone system, and what they do is they convert the voice over IP into an analog uh, trunk, which can go into your digital system and you can still use your digital phones. The main point I want to drive here is that you can't interchange these things. So you can't plug one type of technology into the other. And that when you're troubleshooting them, digital and analog are two wire technologies. Voice over IP is an eight wire technology. Typically, if I was working on a voice over IP phone and if I was having trouble, once I had established that the cable connection was good and that I had a solid network connection, after that, it's usually a software issue. So you need to contact the people that are responsible for the managing the software side of the voice over IP phone. When I'm troubleshooting digital or analog, it's really just about do I have that two wire connection going back to the source. For analog, it's going to be do I have the connection going back to the place where I get the dial tone from, you know, which is usually like a, oh, for instance, like you see this guy right here, this is known as a 66 block. That's typically how you get your analog dial tone from your, um, from your phone company. Um, with digital, you know, it's going to come back to some kind of a phone system like that, you know, like a, a box on the wall somewhere in the back of the building. So I need to, you know, be sure that my, my two wire connection is going all the way back to a PBX port. All right, so that's the difference between analog, digital, voice over IP. Now you know. Thanks for watching.